Peace and blessings. This is Nubia I, the raw food goddess, the womb priestess, and the holistic practitioner. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my YouTube viewers. So it is Tuesday morning, and I wanted to do a video because I want to remind everybody in the Los Angeles area that I will be speaking at the health store at thehealthstore.com with Tony Ma'atra. I will be speaking um, April 5th, so not this weekend, but next Saturday. So April 5th, I will be speaking, I believe it's at 12 noon. I'll give you all the details. Uh, and i also put, um, I'll put his, um, excuse me, where I'll be speaking, I'll put that in the description box. So April 5th, Saturday, Nubia I will be speaking at dhealthstore.com. All the people that came out before, come out again, and much, much more. I'm really going to, I'm going to bring some products. I'm going to be selling them at a preferred price just for you all. So I really want you all to be there. I want to meet you in person, and I want us to hug and see each other and take pictures and have a really good time. So I hope you all can make it. That's in the area. And I want to tell you what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about detoxification. Um, it's more than just physical. That's what the uh, talk is entitled. Detoxification is more than just physical. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. You know what, y'all? It's interesting that we feel like, you know, raw foods or this whole idea of raw foods and this term called raw foods, it feels like it's something new. It feels like it's something that maybe happened over the last five or ten years. People are really starting to talk about it. But, you know, in actuality, it dates back to, like, the times of, you know, ancient Kemet. And, you know, instead of calling them raw foods, R-A-W, it was called raw foods, R-A-H, meaning cooked by the sun. So, and it was many, many scholars, not scholars in the way of academia like we think of now. Scholars and healers in ancient Kemet were really one and the same. So, you, if you were a scholar, you had knowledge of health. Something that sometimes we miss in our communities or in communities at large. We have scholars who know about our ancient comedic history. We have scholars who know about uh, mathematics. We have scholars that know about so many numerous things, philosophy. But in ancient Kemet, a scholar also knew about dietary laws, things that actually uh, everything that would govern you, everything that would create an environment for you to live and live more abundantly. And so raw foods is really better than even raw foods, although raw foods is good, but really that's, and they, so they were promoting these raw foods, foods that were cooked by the sun, foods in its natural state. And you ever think about it, you know, that the universe, the creator, God, God is really, is pretty magnificent. Because the Creator makes foods that actually corresponds or correlates with parts of our bodies all the time. The kidney bean is shaped like a kidney. The, 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 when you cut open a, a, a carrot, it looks like the shape of an iris. When you open up a tomato, it also has it's the same as you open it up. It looks like the chambers of the heart. And it's red. <laughs> See, we have everything. Celery sticks, or celery, is actually good for the bones, right? Also giving you that great sodium. And also, if you snap a celery, it actually snaps like the bones. Can you imagine that? We have everything. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I mean, this stuff is real life. This stuff is for real. So start looking at the shapes of fruits or the colors of fruits and vegetables, knowing that this is much, very much like you. And so I'm going to be talking more about that and food. So it's not a new thing. It's an actually very old thing. As they say, there's nothing new under the sun. And I'm only bringing it to you because I really want you to really get it. You know, that's why I'm doing this raw intensive. I'm really taking it another way. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking... May 4th will make five years that I'm raw. This coming May 4th will make five years that I'm raw. And just like when I was a vegetarian, I kept getting uh, to become a better vegetarian and, like I said, a vegan and even a better vegan and now a raw foodist and even a better raw foodist. And what I'm finding is raw foods is great, 
But if you eat it like cooked foods, meaning if you're eating a lot of um, gourmet foods, which is great in the beginning, or you're eating a lot of it after the sun goes down, if you're eating it past 7 o'clock p.m., if you're eating too much of it in general, then it's not good. The longest living people don't eat a lot. And so that's another place. So you see I'm going into the dry fasting. You see I'm growing into fasting and general water fasting because I'm learning the secrets to longevity and health. And I'm bringing it to my people. I'm bringing it to all people, but I'm bringing it to my people because we need it the most. You know, I went shopping the other day, bought some little cute little outfits. This is one of them, y'all. I'm showing my little skinny legs more because you know what? Huh, the creator gave it to me and I'm thankful. And, and so when I was in the store, you know, it was in a predominantly black neighborhood and everybody in the store that worked there were black and everybody that was patronizing the store was black too. It was a little cutesy little uh, shopping place. And I mean, out of 100% of the women, 99 was, oh, okay, really overweight, like totally overweight. And I could tell that. They wish that they knew. They started asking me questions about how to be slim and what do I'm eating and what do I do for health. And I was so happy to share it with them. And there was others that didn't want to ask me nothing at all because, you know, they were dealing with their own stuff. I'm only bringing this up not to brag. Please know that I'm not bragging at all. I'm telling you, we are in need of this simple knowledge. And I'm here to give it to you. That's why I'm doing the raw foods. I'm going to bring it to you in ways that you've never experienced it. And I'm going to bring it in ways that are, are I'm not going to take you from the beginning. So just for instance, if you wanted to be a vegan and you would come to me and say, Nubia, Sister Nubia, you know I'm starting off. I want to be a vegan or a vegetarian. And I know that I'm eating and this is what I'm eating. You start naming all the soy products and the so-called vegetarian foods that's process and you can buy whole foods in the freezer section and I would say I wouldn't say oh, oh you're eating a lot of tofu I'm not going to tell you oh that's a good start stay there and as, as you grow you move into it I did those things I made those so-called mistakes and so what I would say to you is no actually soy is really hard for our bodies to process uh, actually being a vegetarian means we eat more fruits and vegetables. Why don't we start with more fruits and vegetables in our diet and have less starch? If you're a real, if you're a vegetarian but you're eating more rice and beans, I would take you away from that saying do not combine proteins with starch. Protein should be with vegetables and, and, and salads and rice should be with salads or vegetables but never together. So I really am going to give you some things in the Raw Food Intensive. I still have slots left, and so I really want people to go to the website when you get a chance and actually join it. I'm going to be bringing it. I'm talking about wild weeds. I'm talking about weeds in your garden, weeds in your yard, weeds on the street, weeds in the sidewalk that you can eat that are super powerful. I'm talking about fasting in another way, and I'm, talking, I'm bringing it to you, and more than just you're going to look beautiful after it's all done. And more than even just you're going to feel beautiful and feel good after it's all done. You're going to be so connected to spirit that you'll want for nothing, because everything will come to you. Everything will be granted to you. When I realize when you're fasting, you're really kind of sacrificing. You're willing to let go of all the external, as I said in other videos, to really get something greater. And raw foods is a start. I'm also going to make sure that we keep you safe during the raw food journey. Because if you're coming from a heavy meat and potato diet, and you do a lot of raw foods, that detoxification process may be too much at first. So I'm going to really taper it for those that need that. They're going to have that experience of really learning how to incorporate it and also really letting go of it's not so much what we're adding to our lives it's what we're taking away so less is really going to be more in this case and you know what we worry that we don't have enough food we don't have enough money we don't have enough clothes we don't have enough love and really the reason why we're so frustrated with all those don't haves is because we're looking at the wants we're looking at what we, we think that we need. And actually, we don't want anything. What we want to do is get rid of things. And in getting rid of things, we actually create more for ourselves because we create the room. We're going to talk about that in the summer intensive. 
And I'm definitely going to change the date. We're going to start on June 20 or 21st. I really want to start on the summer equinox, summer solstice, and it's a good reason why, and I'll explain that later. But I just want you to know that's there. I still have five slots left for the $75 um, one on one consultation. It's usually $150, $75. It's half price. So I really want you all to be a part of that. And I just want to tell you that. I love my subscribers, I love my viewers, I love how enthusiastic you are. I hope that I'm an example. Y'all, I do my best all the time. I'm always reaching for high heights. I make mistakes. I fall, I, but I get back up again. This is my life. And I'll tell you, we're going to also be talking about how to have good relationships and be a raw foodist. because. Can you imagine being in a relationship with me or someone like me who does not eat four days out of the week? I started thinking if I eat every other day and it's seven days in the week, I'm only eating actually three days a week and I'm not eating four days a week. Think about what that does to a relationship because because we are so social. We always want to go out. We when we have something good coming to our lives, we celebrate. We celebrate by eating foods. We want to be intimate with somebody on a romantic dinner. We go out to eat. Do you see how much food is so much in our lives? And that I can show you how to have less food, which means that you'll have more money. I can show you how to have less food, so that means you'll have better sexual relationships. Y'all, I just finished my cycle, just finished my cycle, and women, you know, brothers, I know you're listening to, y'all know I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it plain, when you, after our cycles, a lot of us, you know, we tend to have a little bit of an odor, because we've just been bleeding for five, six, seven, some people longer days, and so, usually afterwards, take a nice bath, clean yourself, feel good, when you dry fast, and again, dry fasting is not recommended for everyone. So let me just say when you fast. I know for me, or when you eat less. So I'm skipping a day and I'm fasting and I'm eating. You have no odor after your period is over. You know, the first uh, couple of weeks as I was, you know, alternating dry fasting and then eating, I would not wear deodorant or of any kind, natural, none. Because I wanted my body to release the toxins. And for the first couple of weeks, I didn't brush my teeth. Like I said, when I'm dry fasting, my daughter's like, Oh, mama, your breath, you must be dry fasting. <laughs> and she also said, and I was smiling. She, I said, oh, under my arms, you know, a lot of toxins is being released. But I would not put the order in on because I wanted to have those toxins be released and nothing block it. Now that I'm in my third week of dry fasting and eating, dry fasting and eating, there's no odor coming from me whatsoever. So, of course, your body is more open. Your body is more cleansed. Your body is more uh, delicious. And so, anybody that kisses you, tastes you, kiss your neck, all the other things, kiss you in other parts of your body will be in heaven because you really will be that nectar like a peach or an orange. You really will be that nectar. So you, you become clean <laughs> like you've never been before. And it's a wonderful thing. So anyway, uh, this is some of the stuff. I wanted to let people know what is this intensive, summer intensive going to be about, right? These 25 women, like I said, if I get an overwhelming response, it'll be 35 women. What are we going to do? And so I just wanted to let you know, you know, I continually learn about health. I read all of the time. And on Friday, every Friday, I'm going to let you know what I'm reading or if I'm going to get a massage, where I go, or when I shop at a certain kind of market, what where I shop. I really am going to do more of that, bringing you with me and showing you what I do to better myself so that I can bring great information to you all. Okay? And, um, so yes, I feel smaller, I'm happy, I feel amazing, I got so much energy, and um, everything is good. Everything is really, really good. My life is changing. Sisters, if you got a job you don't want, or, or, or the relationship you're not, you don't want to be in anymore, or just not happy with your current situation, period, I'm going to show you how to let go 
through raw foods. I'm going to show you how to allow the universe is already operating in your favor, ready to bring you exactly what you want, exactly what you desire, and exactly what you need, and you don't even have to ask for it. This is beyond the law of attraction. This is, this is like attracts like without asking for a thing. You are an electric body, an electric being, and you attract. And so when you let go, starting on a very physical level, everything changes. Anyway, sisters, I love you very much. <laughs> this is, uh, this is um, a blessed, wonderful time. Spirit is definitely working through me, and I give thanks for Spirit working through me. Um, today was my eat day, today is my eat day, and I got to take a luxurious bath in Himalayan sea salt and spirulina, and I use my black soap to clean my skin, and let me tell you the new thing I'm doing, it's called facial dry brushing. I facial, I use a brush to dry brush, and then I use beautiful, my moisturizer, and life is heavenly. So, I just want to say thank you to you all for being here with me on this journey. I'm not alone, and neither are you. This is Nubia I, the Rawful Goddess, the Womb Priestess and the Holistic Practitioner, and I'm sending you an abundance of natural beauty. Peace and blessings.